Hi everyone, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I am back to do some more, more work with my vintage Christmas cards and can work on decorating this journal. So if you missed the first one, I wasn't really sure it was gonna be a two-parter, but I did do this, I don't know, a week or so ago, maybe longer, it's been, it's been a minute since we've worked on this one, but I wanted to pull it back out because I think it's just lovely and I'm ready to work on it. So as a reminder, I am using a variety of papers. This is some beautiful paper my daughter got for me when she was in Florence, Italy, and I used fabric and one of you guys told me how to pronounce this. So it's Tyrael magic, as in material. The font is really hard. Um, that looks like a C to me, not a T. But I used this to turn the fabric kind of almost into like a paper type of texture. So we talked about that in the other video. And then I started showing you some of the vintage cards that I'm making into some flips and pockets and things in this gorgeous journal. So today we will do um, a little bit more. This is also using some papers from Sylvia at Las Mimas Amores um, Etsy shop. I'm on her design team and this is one of my projects this month um, for Sylvia. So I will have the December Verte and the little I think it's little girls. Anyway, I'll have her Etsy shop linked for you in the description so that you can go check out the paper kits she has available um, if that's of interest to you. It's beautiful, shabby, chic, um, that bell. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. And I didn't really plan or prep anything. I Well, I did a couple of things, but then we'll just play with some more of the cards and papers. So I've I've gone back and forth about what I want to do about the cover and last time we made this journaling card together using one of the vintage cards and then I was thinking oh my gosh it would have been beautiful on the front. Someone also talked about how I could turn this into a gatefold and have it open up which I think would be gorgeous just gorgeous. But because I've already made it into a journaling card, I decided to do something a little different, which is I have made a vellum pocket. And so I sewed vellum onto a piece of the paper that I covered my journal with, and we are going to attach this pocket to it. So all I did is I don't know how to, I don't know how to sew on camera. So I just cut a rectangle of this beautiful paper, and then I laid regular vellum, this, um, a, a, the, almost the exact same size, and I just stitched around on three sides and I decided to use the same paper just because I kind of wanted the pocket to fade in a little bit and then I want when I put my card in ah, my journaling card I wanted to still see it okay so I think you guys get the idea it would also probably be pretty if I picked a button or something to go on to the pocket but I think I'm gonna just, for right now I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it. So to install this, I'm actually gonna glue the entire section down. And then when it's nice and dry, we'll come back and put this in the pocket. But I am gonna use the tag to help me decide where I wanna install the pocket because I want the tag to be centered about like this. So, I'm just looking and I'm gonna just use a pencil to mark approximately the bottom and that should get covered up when I glue, glue the pocket down. We are gonna use, I think we're gonna use art glitter glue for this. It's what my hand touched. So I just usually put my wet white glue, all of them, <laughs> into these little bottles, I just find the precision tips work really well for me. And they're also a little bit easier on my hands. My hands sometimes get a little tired as I'm going. All right, cover that up. Okay. 
and I could have gotten fancy <laughs> with my paper and cut a piece so that the pattern all matched up, but I didn't think about that until just now. So we're gonna stay with that. So that's a pretty easy pocket. I have good luck with the art glitter glue and with my favorite glue, uh, my Line Co brand PVA wet white glue, which is the one I also use all the time on vellum. And you can just put, you know, a small bead of glue on the vellum to the paper and but a lot of times I sew vellum, so you just have to play with it and decide what you like and what you're comfortable with. Because this is the cover, I definitely don't want the pocket to come loose, and I didn't want to, I don't really see that bead of glue, especially when it's a nice busy pattern under the vellum, but sometimes you can see it, and some people don't like that look. So, okay, the other thing that I did plan but I haven't done any more than that, is that I do want for the front and back cover, I'm going to use some of the paper that I used for the cover to make triangle corner pockets just on the front and back. And these are just, that's all it is, is I cut a five by five inch square and made, made the corner pockets. And this is one of the ones that I make all the time. <laughs> one of my favorite of the pockets. And... I believe this is a little bit of an experiment because of that material magic that I put on this fabric that turned it almost like a paper consistency. I think my art glitter glue is going to hold that onto the fabric without a problem. I'm going to go ahead and put them down and trust that. I will test it here in a little bit. And if we need to, we'll come back with Fabrifix. But I think this is going to work with no problem. Usually, if you're doing paper to fabric or fabric to fabric, lace, ribbon, that type of thing, I'll use the Fabrifix glue. This is a really a lot thicker than a wet white glue, so I have it in the large refillable bottle. But um, I don't think I need to use it for this. Okay, and I kind of like that. So now we have those two pockets. This I'm saving for the front cover. And I had made this one before too, so we'll find a place to put this piece in. And I'm back to some of these cards. And we had already used a portion of some of them. I definitely want to use this one with this ornament, even if I just install it on a page and it opens up. There's that that piece is torn but I think I think it's gonna be okay I won't turn it because it is quite fragile I don't think I'm gonna turn this into a pocket itself but let's see if we can find a page that we think this would look really pretty on you can see the camels coming through it'll have a different orientation obviously I just am trying to decide what page will this work on because it's obviously I'm going to cover I'm going to end up covering something up okay this works this works all right it's almost like it's just another another little flip and I'm okay with it being sideways we save all of the all of the writing I do think just because I'm a little worried about its stability I do think I'm gonna glue these two layers together I think I'm going to so let's move our journal and I'm gonna just be careful and we're gonna add glue just to make sure we have a little more stability because when that is again flipped and flapped open by whoever is using the journal we don't want it to come apart and I think that was enough I didn't use a ton of glue I didn't want to get it too wet yeah that definitely feels better so let's bring it over here and now the question is do I just want to put it down or do I want to layer anything underneath I did when I cut the pockets for the front and 
inside and outside covers, I used another of the big rectangles of this paper. So I have some that we can play with and embellish some of our pages or make more pockets. So I don't want to forget that I have those. But I was also thinking even just a strip. I have, I have these strips too. They're like faux washi strip paper. Might look cute under here and it's kind of in the pinks and the greens and things and so let's use the ruler and tear I'm thinking these pink poinsettias will be fun and these came from the graphics fairy website just some of the printables that they have okay la, la, la. I want it on the edge. I was thinking underneath, but then I'm covering up so many of the pretty poinsettias. Maybe we will just, hmm. I'm gonna do a little torn edge. It's almost the exact height, keeping those, keeping those poinsettias whole. All right, setting those aside, let's get out some Distress Ink. I'm just going to use my go-to Walnut Stain. And I'm going to just do light distressing. Just on those where I've torn the paper and get a little bit of ink added. And I always tend to enjoy inking my, <laughs> my thumb, too. All right, I'm just going to lay that down. Again, just to jazz it up a touch. I think this journal is going to end up being extra special for me. This one I'll keep in my collection because I treasure all of these vintage cards. All right, I'm gonna glue this entire panel down. And again, that will help some with the stability as well. And you can see where it tore when it came out of the original scrapbook. I talked about that quite a bit in the first video too. So again, if you missed that and you're interested, I hope you'll go back and take a look. I'll have it linked in the description for you so it'll be easy to find in case you want to. Okay, it's almost like an extra little mini page in there. All right, I bet this is dry enough. Let's add this to the cover. There we go. Very, very sweet. Okay, and let's test how these are doing too. Oh yeah, it's fitting in there nicely. I'm thinking this card though I might like in the back because that way we see that pretty strip of paper. Nice. Okay, now I know I also want, I'm gonna get a few more of these in here, but I was gonna see if we have time, we might make a few little, this one I just glued down with that pretty red paper that came from one of the Christmas cards, but I may make some clusters or some things with one of those. And I'm almost wondering if I should put one of the little girls on the front. Oh, this is, I've already added multiples. Yeah. And maybe a, a little bit of a bow. Look at me. I'm just going back and forth. Back and forth. I don't know. Do you guys craft like this when I'm just making a journal or making whatever for myself? I don't worry about going in order I just kind of kind of craft and have fun <laughs> so that's what I'm doing let's see gold my gold thread make her a, a cute bow right here on her dress let's do that so this is that super thin gold it's almost like a twine thread but definitely shiny and pretty for Christmas but it does also kind of look a little vintagey whoa that is not what I meant to do I accidentally pulled it oh it's still okay all right let's see if we can fluff that back out 
trim those just a little. Set that aside. Now, see, I think that's just going to add a little bit to our cover. So again, I'm going to put just a drop of the art glitter glue. I've, I've, I do this all the time. And I, if you watch my videos, you've seen me. Uh, and just stick it in there and like make sure it's grabbed. And now I'm gonna just set it aside and it will dry and then we'll attach it to the cover in a little bit. Okay, back to, hmm, I don't even know where this pen came from. All right, back to this sweet little card. This is, looks like not necessarily a Christmas card. Oh wait, no it is, it's, it's baby Jesus. <laughs> I was thinking, is it a birth announcement? No, may the beauty of Christmas be an inspiration to you throughout the year. Edmund, Kathleen, Barker, and family. Look, a sweet little angel. All right, so, and it's definitely the colors of our journal. So, again, ooh, got to decide, do I want to put it down as a whole card, or do I want to do like I did with some of the others, and take it apart and get get some extra get some extras so i think that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to take my scissors i could just tear it but i'm gonna i'm going to be super extra careful and i guess in a way a christmas card is like a birth announcement for baby jesus the scrapbook that these came out of had all kinds, definitely had the Christmas cards, but there were birthday cards and Mother's Day cards and anniversary cards and Easter cards and every season. So there you go. Mm. All right, I just realized I have one already here. So let me just think because I don't want to miss an opportunity, right? Everything is a beautiful opportunity. I don't want to cover up too many of the pretty papers unless we just add like a pocket, which is what we might do because this could then go into a large pocket or we could turn this into a nice big journaling card. Why don't we do that? It's not super fragile. I'm wondering if I should... This is the card it came off of. Maybe we'll cut this piece and attach it to the back. So there's still some room to write. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking as I go. Let me think, let me think. I was watching uh, Scrapbooking with me, with Edith, and she's so cute, and I love watching her videos. And, um... She and she says it. She's like, let me think a minute. And um, somebody commented, that reminds me of my mother. And I realized it reminds me of my mother too. And I do that. Okay, this is going to be fun. I'm going to attach this to this side. This side is a little torn. We'll be able to keep the sentiment. See the little, little angel. But then we also have this side for journaling. So it's going to open up like that. It'll be a little backwards and that's okay. So I'm going to add the glue carefully to this side. Okay, here we go. Oh, so I had a couple of people comment on a video recently where they needed the measurements and they said when they went to look at the description that the measurements weren't there and could, you know, could, could I help them with that? And I went back and, and indeed they were. So sometimes when you're watching some of my videos and you need measurements, you might have to scroll down just a little bit. Uh, sometimes I put some other information first, like some of my links and things like that. But and of course, obviously I could forget. So if I ever forget, please let me know. But um, usually you just have to scroll down just a little bit. So I thought I would say that for everybody's sake in case someone else was having trouble too with that. All right, what do we wanna do on this one? I also have some Christmassy 
um, doodads that have not made it into my little doodad notebook yet, but I was thinking there might be something that we want to put on here. Let's just see. I'm making so many Christmas projects, and these are from lots of different kits, just wherever I... When I have extras and things left over, I've just been throwing them in there. All right, this is a cute circle. It's a little circle, and it just says believe. And again, just to add a little something to it, I'm thinking because it's opening this way, which is different, I might put it to the side, but I could also put it here on the back of the journaling card. That would be cute too. Yeah, let's do that. Put it right there. Just kind of like, remember when we used to get stationary sets and you had like the the writing paper and there were was some kind of deck, deck, decoration on there. And so you might start writing here and then wrap around. And usually they had envelopes to match too. I loved stationary. <laughs> Big surprise, right? When I was younger, I'm a child and on up. And we used to give it as gifts or receive it as gifts. So fun. People don't really do that anymore, though, because most of us, I don't think, write a bunch of letters anymore. So there you go. All right, I'm digging down into some of my ribbon, and I just saw this, and it's kind of a peachy sheer, maybe like a chiffon. Let's see what it is. Sheer ribbon. Don't have any idea where it came from. If it came in one of my stashes or if it's just something I've had for a long time. Yeah, it's very sheer, but how about a cute little bow or something for all these little angels and baby Jesus? Let's see how it looks once I tie a bow. If not, we can attach some of the ribbon a different way. But let's see. Gotta be able to grab it, Pam make a little bow. It's nice and thin and usually this kind of ribbon does tie nice little bows. Here we go. All right, not sure yet. It was angled a little bit. And again, not necessarily a Christmas color, but definitely goes well with this card. How about like a little a little sassy angle on the corner, right there. All right, I'm gonna use a glue dot and we're gonna put it down. Call that part done. So I am spending a lot of time right now in the last push getting ready for my craft fair that's this coming Saturday. And I, as you guys know, I have been working on this now, it's really since September, since I committed and decided I was gonna participate. And so, yeah, that looks sweet right there. And so it's finally here. It's finally this next weekend. And so I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video every day for you guys. We'll see how I do, but I know we've kind of gotten used to that schedule, so don't worry about me, though, if I miss a day or two this week, and then we're heading into Thanksgiving, so who, who knows? But I hope you guys, if, if you come and there's not a new video up, do me a, a favor, do me a solid, and just go ahead and watch some of my older videos that you haven't watched that maybe you missed. Get some ideas and inspiration there. I would really appreciate it. Look at that sweet angel. Um, that helps my channel um, as well. And I would appreciate it if you guys could take some time to do that. Especially on the days where I don't have new ones come out. That's a great way for you to um, hopefully still have some crafty, silver sparkly fun and still be here to watch when I get back. So I, again, I just, I, I may have time and I may get more videos up than I'm right now feeling like is gonna happen, but who knows? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, oh gosh, goodness, it's just like I said, life is very, very busy right now, which is a good thing. I'm very fortunate to have a lot happening. I. 
like I said, we're going to have Thanksgiving. A lot of our kids, three of them, in fact, are not going to be with us this year. That's the first time that's ever happened. But my two are going to be spending time with their dad's side of the family and their grandparents, which is great. And I know they will have a wonderful holiday. So that's not a bad thing. And again, they're young adults and have to make decisions and spread themselves out. They will be with me for Christmas. So that's exciting. I decided to just glue this one down, you guys, so we can enjoy the little angels. But same thing, I wanted it to be thick enough. Um, and then one of my husband's daughters, one of, one of our daughters, the three girls, she's going with her boyfriend to meet his family. So that's a big deal. And she won't be home, so we'll have our other son and our youngest um, who's still in college with us this year. So it'll be a little different, but we're excited about Thanksgiving. And then I think we've got a week, like that weekend, a week, and then the next weekend is when I go to see my daughter in New York. So busy, busy time, and I know it is going to interfere with my craft time. Um, but that, again, that's okay. Sometimes we have to... We, we have other things happening in our lives. All right, I'm going to make another pocket using a piece of this. And I think I'm just going to make a horizontal pocket, maybe two inches deep. Because I'm looking at this sweet angel right here. And I think he's going to be really cute next to this little girl. And I want to keep the whole card together. So I am just going to turn. I think it's wide enough turn this into just a top load pocket. So glue on three sides. And we're going to let it grab hold. And like I said, I have, I also have some of these that I saved some of the words. And so I may just cut out like remembrance is sort of chopped but let's see what it looks like if I take all of it a Christmas remembrance or if I need to just cut the word Christmas out we'll see kind of doing a little organic wiggle there I also really liked the scalloped edge and I'm trying to think of what I might be able to use that for I don't know I it's a junk journal and so it really is okay I think that that little that little divots there so let me do that and then what if what if we lay this on here I'm just gonna trim it so that we get that fun scallop edge I'm trying to use every little piece that's me sometimes okay What I was thinking is, that's where she signed it. But if I did that, we get to see some of the scallop. And we get to have the words. I'm not talking, I'm just kind of crafting. Okay, this is where I know it would behoove me to learn how to edit my videos a little bit more and be able to fast forward through some of this where I'm just sort of decorating. And that way, those of you that are interested and want to watch, it'll just go a little bit faster. And then if not, it goes faster so you're not sitting here as long. But don't forget, you've got a fast forward button if you want to just kind of see what ends up happening, but you don't want to watch everything. All right, so we got that. I feel like this needs a little bit of color. Or, you know what, let's just do a finger tear. Let's do a finger tear and make it narrow. Ugh. And then put it here. Yep, I like it better. So a little more ink where I, where I tore it. That looks kind of good, doesn't it? Okay. So I am planning, this is something I am planning to do this week. So when I set up for the craft fair, we'll set up Friday, I hope to do 
a video for you guys showing you how everything looks when it's set up. And then I'll definitely, after the craft fair, do a quick video telling you what sold well, how I did, you know, what people liked, that kind of thing. So I did a video, and if you missed it, you can go back and watch about the types of things I'm going to have at my craft fair. I've added others, but um, I'll, I'll be sure to show you guys everything when I do the video Friday. Uh, it won't come out Friday, but I'll, I'll film it Friday, and hopefully maybe it could go live on Saturday. We'll see while I'm actually at the craft fair. So stay tuned for that. That will be a, definitely a video that's going to be coming um, out. Oh, I love that. Guys, this is just coming together so nicely. Let's see. I definitely have these two, and then I have these angels as well. So let's see if we can figure out, I'm kind of thinking this one might lend itself. I'm trying to decide, the, the back is pretty messed up. Hmm. Many good wishes for happiness at Christmas and in the year ahead. So let's see. It, it might be one that would be nice to do an around the page but I really don't want to lose the writing. So, you know what? This one is going to get put in this nice, tall pocket, and I'm going to look at it. So, okay, there you go. I copped out on that one, but I just, it, I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't happening. Okay, this is another one that has just the lovely font and sentiment with those bells, the bells, the bells. Okay, so where are we going to put this one? Hmm, I like to spread them out a little bit, but they're all coming together so nicely. I definitely think we could put one here, even though I have one here. So I was trying to think if there's something we could do a little different. And maybe this one we will leave open and have a pocket. What do you guys think? I think that'll be good. It'll still open this way. So let me, for stability's sake, we're going to do the same thing. Goodness, this one's in some sad shape. Carefully add some glue. And stick it together. Ah, I said carefully, and I'm just kind of throwing the glue down. I don't want to get it too... Too, too too gluey, too wet. I don't know if that's the right word, but um, too soft from the glue. There we go. And I'm gonna trim off that old construction paper. All right, so now we have a really nice edge where the pocket is going to be, and it won't it won't tear up the card. All right, and then I think I'm also gonna make a little tab or something to go right here, fill up a little bit of that white space. And why don't we even go a little, a little more and put a notch right here to make it very clear when you open it up that this is a tuck spot back here. Add a little bit of ink, ooh, okay. Not too much, just a little bit. It has some natural aging already. I like it. All right, so this means we want to leave it open. So we're just going to add glue to the three sides of the back of the card. And I'll just be gentle with it. Like I said, I'm keeping this one for me. And I will just be very gentle. You know, I won't shove stuff in there and rip the back of that card. I think it's going to be fine, though. I think it is going to hold without a problem. All right, I am going to, I think this will be fun. I'm going to use my, what kind of punch do I want to use? I was thinking the whale punch, but now I've got a different idea. Let's try this shape label punch and see what happens. And again, bring some of this paper into our journal, into the inside as well. Yeah, that makes a cute tab, doesn't it? Look at that, a little bit different shape. 
let's see what sh what it looks like if we also like I don't know I haven't done this before let's fold it this way and see if we like that way even better hmm. which one do I like I like them both actually that's kind of skinny this one's a little bit wider let's use this one and I'm gonna put it right there and it just kind of shows whoever is exploring the journal. Oh, open up the card. See what's on the inside. There we go. Get that straight. And then glue it down. Okay. And if I do decide that I want to do a, like Velcro and clothes that I can, but I don't think I'm going to need it, and I really kind of want to be careful. I don't want, I don't want to be pulling too much on it. Okay, let's get this out of the way for right now. These sweet little angels and this piano right here, I think this is going to turn into a tag. It is quite fragile, hmm. but I've got I've got an idea. I'm feeling it. I'm starting to feel it. I think if I just fold it over like this, so this will be the front of the tag. Isn't that cute? And then we'll still get to enjoy the words. And then to give it a little more structure and stability. Let's wrap it around this card stock and make it even a little bit wider, right? If we don't like it, we don't have to do it, but I am going to have a torn edge. Thinking I like it the same height as the card, but just wider. So let's see. Let's see how that makes us feel. And then we'll be able to attach like a ribbon, a piece of ribbon, and we have the nice stability of the card stock to, uh, to hold that ribbon and not worry about tearing our vintage Christmas card. It's really so fun to get to work with real, um, you know, real ephemera, real items. A lot of times I don't want to because I only have the one, you know, and that's one of the reasons I love digital papers, digital ephemera, all of that, because you can print it out and craft and create with it and not worry about harming the original in any way. But, you know, it's also Christmas is a special time too, but it's also kind of just a fun way the otherwise these will just stay in my craft drawer and not get used and that's kind of sad too so all right let's see yep that's going to be so cute in there and then pull it out okay so let's decide what type of ribbon let's see if in my scrappy scrappy piece if i have that's a piece of lace if I have a ribbon that would look good, maybe that red. Let's see, I think that'll look nice. Let's use the slot punch. If you, um, again, wanna see any of my supplies that I'm using, the slot punch is really popular. You can also just use a circle punch, right? You don't have to have the slot one. Um, but if you wanna see any of these supplies, check out my Amazon storefront. And I've got all kinds of things linked there that I actually use. You know, those are all things that I have purchased and used. So um, and if you have any questions or can't find something, let me know. And I can try to help you find it or give you direct links. But um, again, clicking on my links and looking at my storefront really helps because I'm an Amazon affiliate. I get a few pennies. It's not a lot of income, but every little bit helps. And it also shows Amazon, YouTube, all of that, that you guys are enjoying my content. And then that really helps. Look at that. I love it. All right. Did I use all of them? Did I? Wow. I think, wait, what's this? 
wait, wait, there's more. All right, this was the inside of the one we put on the front. There's that little piece of red we could use for something. All right, we have this one. Oh, this is the Auntie Ruth card, because oh, I had an Aunt Ruth. Um, she was my grandmother Opal's sister. Okay, this piece, this is sliding around in here, but that's okay. Let's see, is our girl ready? Yeah, she is ready. All right, I'm just gonna glue her down so she has a chance to stick. Okay, and then what I was thinking with this one is I'm gonna turn it inside out. And again, for stability reasons, I don't even know that I'm gonna have it be bigger Maybe, maybe this one will leave it almost like a topper, but I am gonna glue it to this card and then cut out or tear out the way that I want to. And we're gonna turn this into another tag that's gonna go in the front because it went with this card. And then they'll get to stay together. So I like this idea, I haven't done this before. So, Ooh, here we go. And I could have left it open and we could have had this flap to journal on. Didn't think about it until after I did it, but it's okay. We're gonna glue it down. Okay, now the question is, do I want to leave a little bit at the top or on this side? I'm gonna leave the tiniest sliver. So you get a little bit of pink here and a little bit of pink here. I'm thinking, let's do a narrow, a narrow strip at the top. We can always, we can always trim it off if we don't want to keep it. Ah. Let's see what it looks like with some ink. Where I was going with this is I may even angle it make it look like just a big tag flip that over and then the corners match if you haven't made yourself a little template like this all I did this is just a piece of it's a pretend credit card cardboard so you can use like a piece of cardboard you could use an old credit card whatever just randomly snip the corners and then you have a nice template to make yourself some tags if you want to all right, I also have some other bits and pieces here that I had cut out. Let's see if we want to use any of these. Hmm. This little snow scene is cute. We could also bring another girl, another girl to play. Let's see. We just, I don't know. Maybe. And I'm seeing some of my ribbon here wondering I've got the pretty bright red here on the front maybe a little bit of this green because this red this is the hand dyed seam binding ribbon that I do and it the green will be fine but the red was a little too light I think all right and I think this one, I'm just gonna tie a little loop on here. And again, leaving that card, putting that uh, card stock in here, gave this a nice feel, it's right there. Let's just do it, why not? I can always come back maybe and add a sentiment or some words if I decide to. Okay, so now, we have that and I think that's going to keep them from sliding around too so ha, two 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 reasons to do that right and now we have the Auntie Ruth card and I think Auntie Ruth is going to just get tucked in somewhere for now I'm not sure where maybe I'll make another pocket really quick how about a little bit of a corner pocket right there 
That way I don't cover up those sweet girls. But I have a nice place to put the Auntie Ruth card, just like she is. Let's try that. So I didn't go corner to corner. I left a little bit there at the top. So it's a little different shape than just a regular triangle corner pocket. This one is okay since I'm not cutting up a look at that scene. It's super fragile where it got torn, but I may later come back and find something to mount on the back of this, but I think she's okay. And again, it kind of makes it special where you can see how old it is. Okay, what else? I don't know if I want to use any of those pieces. I think, for me, this is going to be a journal. I've got these pages I could do a little bit on, but I am really happy with it. I know in my stash I have even more vintage cards, so it might be something that I just work on a little bit here and there, or maybe if I get like a special Christmas card, I hope I get multiple cards this year for Christmas, but you know, if there's like a super special one, I could put it in so I remember the year that I, I made this journal. That might be kind of fun. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this process and seeing how I, I kept going, I kept decorating, and I definitely, no, I'm going to go ahead and just glue this one down, that there's a little more to come on this one. But I hope you like it. Please leave me a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. All those things. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great one. I appreciate your support. Thanks.